So, in our next episode of Large Person Wanderings, here we are at the George Rowe Museum in Silver Plume, Colorado. And, um, so it'll be quite the interesting experience. It looks like it's an old schoolhouse. And there's Tommy getting ready to do her thing and go check it out. Let's go. Here's what one of the original uh, silver plume fire engines looked like. People would use their hands to pump the water. Here's a canvas pumble horse and also a hand pushed uh, hose cart. So, here we are in the Silver Plume Road Museum. This is what the, this was an original school building. You can actually see what the classroom looked like originally. And where kids would have sat on the floor. Their desk would have been. Still look like. There's drawings of what the building looked like. Original dentist chair look like. So let's see what the original mine lanterns look like. What their stage rolls look like. So what we are looking at are photos from the Sunrise Aerial Tram. The Sunrise Aerial Tram was very unique because it was basically one of the very first uh, ski lifts in Colorado and it was a prototype design for a tourist attraction with a ski lift slash gondola kind of thing. The Aerial Tram sat in Silver Plume relatively on the other side of the river where the museum sits and it would used to take people up to the top of the mountain on the other side of the creek. And we go up some 3,000 feet from the base of Silver Plume to the top of Leavenworth Mountain. So, this is a very unique thing. This is the actual uh, sides of the doors for the carriage cars that used to carry people up on the Sunrise Aerial Tram, which is a tourist attraction in Silver Plume where people could catch a pre-ski lift up to the top of the mountain over on the other side of Silver Plum. This is what remains of the wood telescope thing that they had at the top. You can actually see what the car sides of these things look like. Boy, this is truly unique. So here we are at the school version of going to the principal's office. Instead of Harry Potter, where they have all the neat stuff, this is what a that time, time frame uh, principal's office looked like. Here 
some very ornate period dress and women's clothes. I don't know how they handle all these miserably uncomfortable clothes during the time period. Here's what a Victorian era living room looked like and also kitchen area looked like in their various pieces of furniture, kitchen applications, vintage washing machine, record player. The Silver Plume Row Museum is both unique and worth the visit. It's certainly a museum that's off the beaten path. It gives you a very good glimpse to what life was like living in a ghost town in Silver Plume was back during the heydays of Silver Plume and its mining boom era.